Life, man, is about to take off, guys. It's that's 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 how I'm gonna put it. Life is about to take off. You know, you you go throughout an entire prep with not the expectation, but the work ethic and the level of detail that it takes to win. You put yourself in that space mentally. You do the things necessary to win, to, you know, not only place as high as you can, but like to win, to take the overall, to take first in your class. And as, you know, admirable of a feat it is to take second in your class, especially um, against you know 16 other guys and you know some some decent physiques second place is not first place and I think that's really important to note that's you know not coming from a place of arrogance it's not coming from a place of uh, you know complaints of you know I should have I should have got that first place spot it's nothing like that it's just I didn't work for second place I worked for first place and that is one of the bittersweet things about bodybuilding. You don't control who shows up to the show. You don't control the work that other competitors put in during their off season, during their prep. What you control is you. You control the macros you consume. You control every second of cardio you do. You control every rep of every set. So, you know, it, it's a very personal thing when you know you spend four months to spend 10 minutes on stage i would say five minutes but i have this habit of finding myself in stacked classes where they can't make a decision so i'm up there for 10 15 minutes we well, was up there battling it out man um and you know that's what it was it was a battle i would say what i've you know the conversation i've had with a lot of people uh since the show is you know, the guy who took the number one spot, Nathan French, um, which is a very dope dude. You know, we talked basically the whole weekend. Nothing but respect for the dude. Um, he had me in certain areas. I had him in certain areas. It was very evident looking at the judge panel that they were having a very tough time. They held us up there for a minute, man. Um, I want to say we were the longest class to be compared overall my front shot specifically my core um, I think I was you know had a much more defined and engaged core and you know had this had the stage presence overall where I think you know maybe he took me was the back shot in terms of you know the actual V taper and posing so you know that is you know that's just notes from my notebook at this point man uh, you know, we have two more shows this season. Those are two more opportunities for me to come in tighter, better, more conditioned, drier, and ultimately, and this is a big one, perfect my back posing, man. It's no secret that it has come miles from what it was last year in terms of de development and actual engagement. But I mean, it can be so much better. Going back and watching stage footage from the live stream, it's just like, I see the massive improvements, but I'm also my biggest critic, so I see the flaws. Um, but you know, with that being said, it was nothing short of an incredible weekend. Incredible. You can't really go to Houston, go to Alpha Land, be around that community, and not walk away feeling fucking inspired like ready to get back home and kill your shit kill your macros kill your training just like think bigger than yourself think bigger than your town and guys like when i tell you that life and opportunities are about to take off it's it's surreal, it is, it is in every sense of the word, unbelievable. Um, 
you know, there's, I'm definitely riding a wave right now, you know, in, in terms of uh, getting noticed, you know. People really beginning to recognize what I can do in this sport, the potential I have. Um, and you know what I can really bring to the table and I think a lot of aspects across the board. But, um, you know, what this was, guys, was a great example of a warm-up show. You know, I, we brought a new and improved Devin. We brought a 20-pound heavier Devin to the stage. But with that, you know, there is, I, I just, I'm, I'm excited and I'm almost, um, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just hungry to get back to work to bring this improved Devin in 39 days. We are competing in the Knox Classic. That's what it's called, um, Knoxville, Tennessee. I'm sure you could have guessed that by the name, but we're 39 days out. We have a one-hour cardio session tonight. I'm eating on a strict macro plan until I get the official go to hop right back into the meal plan. Um, so you know. Point is, if I had to summarize it, incredible weekend where the potential for incredible opportunities were seized, um, brought the best Devin that the stage has seen to date, and you know, not only added fuel to the fire that I already have in me, but I think I ignited a new one, man. So, Life, man, is about to take off, guys. It's, that's, 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 that's how I'm gonna put it. Life is about to take off. dope we left probably about 6 a.m i would say something like that and we knew we were cutting it close on time but it wasn't until we walked onto the plane that we realized how close it was uh, so we just made it to but does, like does that barely you said what uh, oh man it's been a morning dude um so we literally just sat down and they, uh, we were the last person, people to walk on the plane. And we didn't even realize like how close we cut it because we were walking onto the plane and the media or the lady, you can tell I got prepped, right? The lady immediately said on the intercom, all right, like the final call for Houston. Um, but shit, we just did our basically four hour drive to Chicago. Now we're going from Chicago to Houston. Um, I'm rolling on 45 minutes of sleep, man, uh, and no carbs, very little water too. So, you know, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm, I'm not trying. I am keeping my cool composure, staying calm, keeping stress to the side, keeping it down. So once we got to the Houston airport, we didn't even leave the airport before we ran into somebody that had something to do with the summer trading event. And funny enough, it was actually another team reform athlete, one of Alex's clients, and um, he recognized me and it was just dope, man. It was like, it was, it was a really dope start of the weekend because, you know, not even leaving the airport, it was like you already get that, you know, the taste of what summer shredding the whole community is about. And if you know anybody, and if you know anything about it, it's just like, there's so much positivity when you just are communicating with people from across the world across the country that you're just like you're you have this common interest in this one thing which is this show and you know that definitely was conveyed in our conversation it was super high energy and it was just it was a really dope way to you know kind of arrive in Houston she got Panda Express we finally got some food in her belly you said what there was okay so there was a chick-fil-a right next to a panda express and she shows panda express i i don't know who does that but 
and she's happy with it. We're gonna go to the from right from the airport to the grocery store, so I gotta carry the little the little uh, suitcase around and make sure I let her do that. So we went from the airport to the grocery store, took the Uber right over there. Um, and we got to go to the HEB, which that was, I think, probably my second time in one. It's these grocery stores, these giant grocery stores that are huge that they have in Texas. I don't know if it's like a Southern thing or just a Texas thing, but like, bro, I shit you not. It is like the size, it's probably bigger than a Walmart, maybe like the size of a Walmart, but it's all food. Like, this shit is so dope, and I wish we had them here. Uh, what's good with y'all so uh gotta do this thing again so we just made it back to well made it to the hotel room it was kind of cool kind of fried as this is my fourth time actually being at this hotel basically the same room um what i wanted to do was keep things pretty simple keep stressed as low as possible so i'm trying to keep things consistent with what i know of being down there um, right now, I am making meal number four of the day. And finally, get carbs in this one. So, I'm going with six ounces of ground beef, uh, 100 grams of rice, and two eggs, four of which I dropped in the six total carton thing. So, inevitably, we were. <clears throat> That wasn't a word. Inevitably, we're gonna have to end up going back out to the grocery store at some point. But uh, there's not a whole lot I can think about right now besides eating and getting a little bit of a nap in before we head out to the to the team lift. I'm thoroughly beat. I tried vlogging at Alpha Lee and dude, I walked in there, I was so fucking overwhelmed. There were so many people, bro. Like literally at least a thousand people between the two gyms. Uh, so I just put that, I took that camera right away. <laughs> right away, man. This is hard, yeah. Get one. You wanna get, let's get it at the end. How you feeling? You feeling good? One of the first things I did when I got there though was just start snagging Anna bars. All the different flavors. Got the peanut butter and jelly, the cookies and cream, the cinnamon swirl, the fruity cereal. Dude, this shit is fire. They are, I don't understand how they are protein bars. It's literally like something you will get out of a little Debbie box, but it has 21 grams of protein and pretty low fat. It's they're they're so fucking heat. What was it? Thursday afternoon, we did our check-ins at Alpha Land, where we did, in fact, confirm that I am not six foot. And then that's when we did our first coat of tan, which uh, you know went over smooth. There was there was no issues with that. Didn't exfoliate, just shaved and stuck on nice. The dude would not stop telling me how good of skin complexion I had. He was like, "Bro, I could tell you really did. You really did everything you're supposed to. You exfoliated. You probably exfoliated twice because your skin looks so good." And I was just like, "Yeah, yeah, I didn't, but I mean, right on. It was nice that it stuck well." For the big, the big reveal, man. You know, it was, it's been a question over the last uh, nine months to a year. How much size did I put on? How much muscular contractile tissue did Devin build in this offseason? I'm gonna tell y'all right now, your boy woke up 20 pounds heavier on show day than last year. It was 164 last year, it was 183.6 this year. Man, with a nine month off season, that is fucking nuts. I'll, I'll be, I'll, I'll tell you guys right now, um, I'm not, I wasn't quite as conditioned. So, you know, I might've been holding maybe two more pounds of fat, but you know, between 15 and 20 pounds of muscle was built and added within nine months. And that is mind blowing, mind blowing. Um, yeah, guys, that's how the Houston trip went, man. It was. An incredible fucking weekend, and uh, can't wait to be back down there in October and just you know, soak in and absorb all the immaculate vibes that Houston seems like it never has enough to offer.